For William, the past year has been a transformative one, a journey that has forced him to reevaluate his own sense of self and the role he plays, not just as a prince, but as a husband and a partner. And as he looks to the future, he is determined to carry this newfound wisdom and resilience with him, both in his personal life and in his duties as a future king. This experience has changed me, in ways I never could have imagined, William said. But I wouldn't have it any other way. Because it has shown me that true strength doesn't come from denying our emotions, but from embracing them, from using them to fuel our determination and our resilience. And that is a lesson I will carry with me for the rest of my life. It was only a year ago that the public image of Prince William was one of unwavering stoicism and poise. As a senior member of the royal family, he had long been expected to embody the stiff upper lip and steadfast resilience that had come to define the Windsor clan. However, the events of the past 12 months have transformed the prince in ways no one could have predicted. The news first broke last summer that Princess Catherine, had been diagnosed with a potentially life-threatening condition. Though the specifics of her illness were kept private, out of respect for the family's privacy, it was clear from the outset that this was a profoundly serious matter. The usually composed Catherine was suddenly thrust into a gruelling treatment regimen, leaving her husband William to grapple with the unimaginable prospect of losing the woman he had loved since their university days. In the weeks and months that followed, the public caught rare glimpses of a side of Prince William that few had ever seen. Gone was the reserved, dutiful heir apparent, replaced by a man consumed by a tempest of emotions, fear, anxiety, and at times, sheer desperation. In private moments captured by the ever-watchful paparazzi, the prince was photographed with red-rimmed eyes, his face etched with the strain of watching his wife struggle. It was the most challenging time of my life, William confessed in a recent sit-down interview. I had always prided myself on being in control, on maintaining that stiff upper lip that was expected of me. But when Catherine's health took this turn, all of that went out the window. I was overwhelmed by a sense of powerlessness that I had never experienced before. As Catherine underwent gruelling rounds of treatment, William found himself grappling with a torrent of negative emotions. There were days when I would look in the mirror and hate what I saw the man who couldn't protect the woman he loved, a prince who was failing at the most fundamental duty of being a husband, he revealed. I would berate myself, questioning my worth, my strength, my ability to be the leader that this country needs me to be. It was in those darkest moments that William experienced a profound shift, one that would ultimately reshape not just his own life, but the very fabric of the monarchy he was destined to lead. Inspired by his wife's unwavering courage and resilience, the prince made a conscious decision to let go of the self-doubt and negative self-talk that had consumed him. I realized that I had to change, not just for Catherine's sake, but for my own, William explained. I couldn't keep punishing myself, couldn't keep falling into that spiral of self-loathing. It was time to let go of that and focus on what truly mattered, being there for my wife, supporting her in any way that I could. With a renewed sense of determination, the prince began to reframe his perspective. Instead of dwelling on his perceived failings, he started to affirm his own strengths reminding himself of the love and support he could offer Catherine during her darkest hours. Every morning, I would stand in front of the mirror and tell myself, you are strong. You are capable. You will be there for your wife, no matter what, William recounted. It wasn't easy at first in fact, it felt completely foreign to me. But gradually, those affirmations began to sink in, empowering me to be the partner and caregiver that Catherine needed. As his wife continued her treatment, William found himself increasingly drawn to the stories of other families facing similar challenges. 
He listened, with rapt attention, to the accounts of spouses and loved ones who had walked this difficult path, drawing inspiration from their resilience and their unwavering commitment to their partners. Hearing those stories, it made me realize that I wasn't alone in this, William said. There were so many others out there facing the same fears, the same anxieties. And they were finding the strength to get through it, day by day. That gave me the courage to keep pushing forward, to be the rock that Catherine could lean on. In the months that followed, the public began to see a marked transformation in Prince William. Gone was the stoic, reserved figure, replaced by a man who was unafraid to show his emotions, to be vulnerable and open about the challenges he was facing. He spoke openly about the importance of mental health, of the need to prioritize self-care and emotional well-being, especially in times of crisis. I realized that my duty as a member of the royal family wasn't just about upholding tradition and maintaining that stiff upper lip, William explained. It was about being a true leader, someone who could inspire and uplift others going through their own struggles. And that meant being willing to share my own journey, my own vulnerabilities. As Catherine's treatment progressed, the prince's commitment to her health and well-being only seemed to grow stronger. He was a constant presence at her side, shuttling between royal engagements and hospital visits, balancing his public duties with the demands of caring for his wife. And through it all, he remained steadfast, radiating a quiet strength that seemed to draw strength from the love he shared with Catherine. There were times when I felt utterly drained, both physically and emotionally, William admitted. But I knew that I couldn't give up, that I had to keep pushing forward. Because Catherine needed me, and I was determined to be there for her, no matter what. That determination has not gone unnoticed by the British public, who have rallied behind the couple in an outpouring of support and admiration. Social media has been flooded with messages of encouragement and well wishes, as the nation collectively holds its breath, praying for Catherine's full recovery. Prince William has shown us all that true strength isn't about stoicism or stoicism, but about vulnerability, about the willingness to confront our fears and our emotions head on, said one longtime royal commentator. In doing so, he has not only inspired his wife, but an entire nation that is watching his journey with bated breath. As Princess Catherine continues her fight, her husband stands beside her, a pillar of unwavering support and love. And in doing so, he has not only inspired his wife, but an entire nation that is watching their journey with a renewed sense of hope and admiration.